Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of creating mobile game series. In this episode we will build and publish our game to Google Play Store. So before we start let's open our Unity Hub and then we need to go to installs then select your uh, version of the Unity and then press on the will so you need to make sure that you have installed Android support so you go here and then press on add modules and then select models that you need to install I already have Android installed as well as web platform so I can close that one and then just open the project inside Unity editor let's go to file and then build settings. Here we need to change our platform from whatever platform you have right now to Android and then we click on switch platform. After the all changes applied let's just go back here and check that game is still working and it's still working for me. Let's try. Let's work both with keys and, uh, and this sticker. So I'm good with that, that's why I'll just stop the game. And now let's go back to our build settings. And so first let's check this build up bundle with Google Play. And then let's go to player settings before we build anything. So here we will need to specify all of the data required when we're building game to Google Play Store. And so I will just put my information as for company, it is Mira Games. Studio. And then for product name, I will put Christmas Rush. I'm using the same name in each IO. Default version 1.0. Here we can also provide some icons. So let me drag image that will be used for icon. I'll just put it to the root. Okay. And now when we add that one, let's just drag it over to default icon. So it's appear here. All right. Now let's open our resolution and presentation tab. And so here we actually not touching most of the things except for auto rotation. So default rotation will be portrait and that's it. And we don't want to rotate because I mean, we can include it rotation, but it makes sense for landscape games. Games in our case, it is a portrait. And I mean, you're usually not using your phone upside down in the portrait mode. So let's just say that it will be only in this mode. If you want, you can still use uh, auto rotation and then just disable landscape, but I'll use just portrait and that's it. Next thing is splash image. So splash image is something that will appear before your game started. And on right now on the personal tier of Unity, so on free tier, you will always see this made with Unity and you cannot remove that one, uh, but very soon, it's actually in the upcoming year. Even on free tier, you can remove this splash screen, but for now we cannot do it. We can, uh, we can change it a bit and we can add also logos of your company here by pressing plus and then selecting your logo here. I will not add this as for now, but you can play around with some values here just to change uh, how this first screen is look like. And then you just click preview to see how it looks. I will not change anything on splash image and I'll go to other settings and I will just double check that everything is cool here. But basically what we want to check is the bundle version code and version. So this is something that we will change uh, with every iteration, with every a new version we will change both of these values and then because when we will publish it to Google Play Store it will require a different version every time when we um, attach a new file or updating version in the uh, for the game. Also on the scripting backend we need to change it from mono to IL to CPP so then we can enable RM64 built because this one is required uh, in the Google Play Store. With this set, let's also change our target API level to be like set to 33. Also, let's scroll a bit down. And so here in stack trace, let's remove our logs. So look only this one. So we still have warning, assert and error in the stack trace. So in our user log file on his device, everything will be locked except for log because I, I really like to use this debug log sometimes. And then I don't want just to uh, user to see that thing on his device and then just publishing settings. 
Let's just click on Key Store Manager and we want to create a new one. After we specify location, we also want to provide the password. And also we need to provide alias for our key. So it will be just Christmas Rush in my case. And same, I need to provide a key for that. After that, we can create key. Oh yes, we want to add it to our project. So then we will have this password here. And so in future, it might ask you to provide this password here. And it is required to have this custom key if you want to make it production built. And I believe that should be it. So let's just close project settings. And here with everything selected, let's just press on build. And let's wait after build is complete and we can see the message that it succeeded in the console. Let's go to browser and search for Google Play Developer Console. And so you will need to either either create account or log in if you have one. I already have one. And so in Google Play Console, we should go to Home tab and then on the Home tab, we can create app where we'll provide again some information about the game, like game name, language for the game, is it app or game? So we're saying it's game, it's free. And we need to accept all of these declarations here. And so after that, we can actually create an app. It will create as a, like a project where then we can control versioning of our game. But anyhow, what do we want to do right now? And so here on the dashboard of your new project, which is Christmas Rush in my case, there will be some steps that you can do to easily figure out how to publish your game. But uh, here in what, what we can do is to create a new release for now. So if you go to this internal testing, uh, then we have this new release. So let's create a new release from here and it will be for phone tablets and Chrome OS. So yeah, let's do that. So we need to choose a sign in key or generate one. And for that, I will just use use Google generated key and it will generate a key for us. After that, let's attach file that we just built. So we're using AAB file here. And so while it's uploading, we can uh, put some information here, here like release name. We can say that it's, yeah, exactly a release name. We can say initial release, then also provide some different uh, release notes. So our user in Google Play Store, then they will see uh, in different languages. So we can copy some uh, language codes here. And then in this inside this code brackets, we can provide some information for our users about what we have changed in our games in the last uh, release. But uh, for now, I'll just initial and game release because that's what we are doing here. And so far, so good. Let's just say next. Okay, we have some warnings, but we should not be worried about those. Important thing that we you don't have any errors. So if there are any errors, we cannot publish it, of course. And so with this set, let's just hit save. And yes, with this set, our testers can already start to test our game. But then let's go further. If you want to create release for your production, so everyone can see it. So right now it's internal testing and only testers that you are specified can test this game. You can also create a release for open testing. And so you do it in the same way. You just click in this create new release and then you instead of uploading, you just specify file from your uh, library. So in my case, this one and then you just proceed for open testing. And so here, because now we're targeting uh, actual Google Play Store, so we have some errors, at least I have some errors because I need to complete some steps here, like uh, maybe some license and so on. So I'll just go through them one by one and just do whatever Google Store says me to do. And it's basically answering all of these questions like set privacy policy, app access, ads, content rating, target audience, news apps, COVID, data safety, blah, 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 blah. So everything of these in the dashboard, whatever you have here should be completed before you can release your game. I will not stop on any of those uh, questionnaires except for uh, target audience. And I would say that even though this game is actually can be used for age under five and so on. So it basically can be used by any age. I will still not accept any of those except 18 and over because 
for this, I mean testing, yeah, for sure, I can include everything. But in future, for example, if you would like to add ads to your game and so on, it's very hard to um, follow in all of these rules. So just for safety reason, I would use only 18 and over. And also exactly because of this reason, if for any case you target for audience that is smaller than 13 under 13 years, and then you collect some information, personal information or PII for them, you might be um, banned from this Google Play. That's why I really prefer to use this 18. But then, okay, in, in this case, we actually can use 13. And so when you're done with all of your setup for your app, and the last step will be set up your store listing. And here you will actually provide all of the useful information for users about your game, like your name, short and full description, and then some icons and maybe, maybe some screenshot from the game. After everything added to your listing setup, let's go back to our releases overview. And so here we should see our initial release and then initial alpha release. So let's go here and then just press next. And I still st have a small issue and it's no countries region has been selected for this track. So I need to fix that. For that, I'm going back to open testing, then selecting countries region. And I need to uh, add countries region here. So let's say I'll just select all everything and click save. And after that, I should be fine. So let's go to releases overview, then our alpha release and hit next. And yeah, everything fine, only warnings I can see. And so I can hit save and boom. Our game is now sent for review. And when review will be approved by Google, it will be published to game store. That's it for today. We finally made it. We built and published our game to Google Play Store. Big congrats to all of you. It will be great if you can share your game either on Discord or maybe in YouTube. Just sh share some links so we all can check this out and put some good reviews under your game in the Google Play Store. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and all this video series in general so I can do more or not do them anymore. Also, if you want to support me, you can always do it on Patreon for some extra perks each IO or you can check my assets, including this game in Unity Asset Store. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.